Welcome, collective. This is going to be a read in regards to how the karmic feels about the divine feminine. So, ooh, my my eyes been jumping every time I get ready to um do these type of reads. My eye always start jumping. So, some of you guys is um may have been dealing with that or feeling like something is yeah like something is up like mm, what's next what's next what what is up what's next what's coming up a lot of times it's it's mainly my left eye and it's always just like real quick it'll just jump Real quick, a few times, and then it'll stop. All right, so let's get into it. Let's see how the karmic feels about the divine feminine. All right, we're going to shuffle a couple of times. build about to happen. All right, we got the high priestess here and the nine of swords. So their intuition, they feel like they got you shook. They feel like they got you scared. They're definitely stalking you. Definitely stalking you. We got the nine of wands and the page of swords. So they're definitely stalking you. Yeah, they feel like you want the divine masculine to get off track. They feel like you're trying to get the divine masculine to like um, get off track to kind of put the focus back on you. karmic is getting pointers from you on how to get some money or how to get something done either some money or how to boss up okay this this karmic is taking notes from you this karmic is uh taking notes why is the six of cups Yeah, this this karmic feels like if masculine was to ever go back to you, she would know what to do. Um, to I'm getting like she's kind of like, uh, feeling like masculine is noticing you, paying more attention to you than he is to her. Maybe masculine could be watching you from the sidelines. She's aware that masculine is watching you from the sidelines. She's taking notes. Okay. She feels like masculine will want to go back to you because you got money or you got your, uh, you done bossed up in some way, shape, or form. Like you're very mature. You're more mature than her. Yeah. She feels like masculine would go back to you. She feels like you and masculine relationship could have been fixed. Um, she just wants to make sure that she keeps an eye on. She's keeping an eye on you. She says she know how it feels. She been on both sides. She feels like she, that you're waiting in the cut. You're trying to get masculine off track. Try to get uh, masculine to focus on you. She's been on both sides. So she understands how it feels to be sitting in the cut waiting for a man to pick or choose you. So she feels like you're waiting in the cut. And she feels like masculine would go back to you. 
But she feels like you, if you were to give masculine something tangible, then she feels like he'll go back. He will come back to you. So she feels like masculine is easy. And that's possibly the way, the same way you got them and the same way you lose them. I don't feel like my divine feminines that are watching and viewing my videos are anywhere near about to pay somebody to be in a relationship with them. Now, that may be the way that she got masculine, but the same way you get them is the same way you lose them. Someone else is going to come in and uh, who has more than her, who's doing more than her, um, and easily scoop masculine up. Because I'm getting masculine is easy peasy. Yeah. Yeah, she she been waiting for she been waiting to see if you was gonna get your bread up and see if you could keep up with her because she felt like you're catching up. She feels like you're catching up. And she's definitely spying to see what you are purchasing, what like how you look, what you like if you post a picture, she's looking at how you look in the picture, what type of brands you got on. She's looking at that. She's very superficial. Um, oh, she is oh childish. Why is the six of pentacles here? Yeah, she's watching you because she's getting advice from you. She's getting advice from you. Okay, because you look could have been the first uh, real female in this masculine's life. Um, so she could be getting advice from her friends, but her friends may have never dealt with the type of masculine that she's dealing with. I feel like she's um, in a cut, stalking you, stalking your social media, getting advice from you. Like if you share certain memes or just kind of like trying to get, get a peek inside your head of how you view things, your point of view on things. So she can mimic and copy. Yeah, she's hoping that you uh, talk about, you know, your regrets, what you regret dealing with, with the masculine. So she could try to, like, not go down that same road. She wants you to tell what happened with the marriage so she could stop. I'm telling you, she's, she's stalking, straight up stalking. She wants you to talk about, for some of you, it was a marriage. For some of you, you guys lived together. For some of you, you were together for a long time doing this masculine. And um, for some of you, the reason why you guys split was because he could have been dealing with a karmic. Um, and this karmic in particular is sitting back taking notes on... Um, of what not to do like she's trying to pick your brain so she can see what not to do what what parts can she skip over if you previously went through it with masculine so she can know how to avoid that situation that type of situation She's, uh, her challenge is she feels like you're manifesting something. Like you have a real spiritual energy. Um, you have a very, this is something that she's surprised by, okay? She's very surprised that you can manifest um, a good life for yourself without the masculine. Yeah, she's surprised that you're actually super duper independent if you want to be. You don't need masculine. Masculine could have needed you. She's starting to realize that. Yeah. She's realizing that you don't need love in order for uh, for you to uh, boss up or 
start a business or whatever. She's in a place where she feels like she needs the masculine to validate who she is. Okay, now the world is here in the past energy and the five of swords and the justice. Okay, so... Some of y'all, we got the Justice and the Three of Swords. Some of y'all, this, this karmic, she's trying to figure out what's keeping this masculine from moving on completely from you. She felt like she closed this chapter. Um, she felt like she was able to get you and masculine um from dealing with each other for some of you there could have even been like a divorce or a separation she's trying to figure out what's keeping you two keeping masculine still uh wanting to see what you got going on she wants you to feel like she's a threat in some way shape or form because y'all two aren't together anymore she feels like her masculine can get married or her masculine can do what y'all did since you don't want to be there. You're not in the picture anymore. But for her, she feels like masculine moving kind of slow. She feels like masculine moving kind of slow. She hopes like it speeds up, the pace pick up um, because she's been waiting, waiting on you to reach out, waiting on you to call, waiting on you to text. Um, she knows it's coming. She feels like it's coming. Um, and she feels like this time she's going to answer the phone. So she got it planned out in her head. She's definitely stalking you. Um, and she's looking at your growth. Okay. She's looking at your growth, how you're handling the situation. But she definitely feels like she won. Okay. She feels like she she won a prize. She she sees you a lot of y'all aren't even putting in any effort to reach out to this masculine at all. You're not even trying to message him. You're not even trying to, you're not even playing the game. This uh this karmic is playing really by herself or playing with other karmics, not the divine feminine, because the divine feminine feels like, uh, no man, I got a new beginning, I got a new start. Okay. Mm -mm. You can keep that. Yeah, see, you got a new you got a new beginning and a new start. You got an opportunity to do something different, be creative. This is your time to do to do something for you. Okay, yeah, ten of cups. You're worried. You're focused on your own happiness. Some of y'all are already in a new relationship. Like, yeah, it's not even that big of a deal. They're making it a big deal. Okay, look, your finances. This is your focus. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles. Okay, you want something that you could be happy, secure in. You want something long term. This right here, this situation. You learned lessons that you needed to learn from it, but you're not interested in dealing with this situation. She won. That's how I'm gonna like. Okay, you won. Yeah. Uh, uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh gosh. She could be trying to get pregnant. She also could be, um, she also could, she could be trying to, She's definitely trying to stop. She doesn't want masculine to come anywhere near you. She doesn't want masculine to think about you at all. She's trying to make sure that she keeps him good and distracted. She She's doing flips, cartwheels, cashing out, spending, doing whatever she needs to do. But she's trying to clear. She's trying to clear her head clear masculine head of you okay but she's waiting on you she's waiting on you to reach out to masculine so she can pick so she can answer the phone or she can respond to the text message because in her mind she know that you seeing what they got going on she's practicing what she's going to say in the mirror to you if you reach out to him she don't feel like you don't masculine and she she's willing to fight She's willing to compete for this relationship. She feels like she could change masculine. 
um, she wanted to slow him down, and she did that. But she doesn't really, she, she feels like he's not completely over um, over this. She kind of had to force him, kind of had to push him to, you know, do something different, change. It wasn't something that he did on his own. It was something that was really kind of, like, pushed. Yeah. That been on her mind lately. That been on her mind a lot lately. Like, why did you leave? Uh, she doesn't know all the details of, yeah. She doesn't know all the details of what went on between you and masculine. But this been on her mind a lot lately. Like, that been on her mind. She doesn't know what it is about her that makes her so special, why masculine chose her. But she's just doing, going with the flow of things. She's realizing that it's a bunch of females like her. Um, why he didn't choose them. Why he didn't go with somebody else. Okay. And she's waiting for you to reach out. I keep seeing that. Waiting for you to reach out so she can say, okay, well, why he didn't pick you? Why he didn't pick somebody else? Okay. Why he chose me? Yeah, she's saying everybody know. Everybody knew about me and him. Everybody knew what was going on between me and him. You the only one who didn't know. <laughs> this this Carmen Gray, she petty. She real petty. Um, what I want to use next? Let's use the Kipper deck. She feel like she built this masculine up because I just seen privilege lady and poverty. So she feel like she building this masculine up. How does this Carmen feel about the balcony? She think that you're still in love with the masculine. We got imprisonment and lovers. She feel like you're still in love with the masculine. Yeah, she feel like you still want to sleep around, court, be together. She feel like you still in love. Like I said, for some of y'all, y'all was married or y'all was living together like y'all was married. Y'all was doing like the family thing. Um, She said, yeah, I'm that female now. Masculine is going to marry me. Um, You can still be in love with him while you want to, but I got that masculine on lock. He ain't going nowhere. Yeah, she feels like she, um, she feels like you changed direction. You went a different direction. You chose a different path. And she feels like, yeah, that's good. Y'all ended. Y'all not a family anymore. She feels like y'all not a family anymore. So that's the message that I got for y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I'm going to chat with y'all later.